Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and in today's video I'm looking at another course or learning resource and giving it a quick review. This is called 497 Essential Tips for Blender and is currently on sale. The normal price will be $45 and you can get 20% off so it's currently at $36. This discount is running from today until Monday. The coupon code and links are in the description. It's an affiliate link so you'll be helping this channel if you click on it. But this is meant as a review video, not a promotional video. I've been going through different resources and courses recently and thought I'd pass on the information about the content. So what's in the course? Well, it's made up of mainly short videos, generally one to two minutes with the odd four to five minute video every now and again. There are 497 of these videos and it's made by both the Blender Bros team, known for their excellent hard surface modeling skills and resources, and Blender Daily, who specializes in short quick tip videos and you might have seen them on Instagram or Facebook. The quality of the lessons is very high. It's very compact and precise in the delivery. It's well thought through and clearly practiced. It's surprisingly in depth for such short videos, but there's only so far you can go with this type of time period, so don't expect massively deep and detailed outcomes. There is a difference between the instructors, which is quite nice in terms of getting a range of knowledge and tips, but I would say that there can be a little bit of a jump in terms of the skill level and assumed knowledge. Like I say, this can be a good thing as you get a range of levels, but it may be that if you're a beginner, you might not understand every video to start with. The videos are so short, it's still worth watching though, as you might suddenly understand what the instructor's talking about when you come across the issue, problem or workflow for yourself, and then things will suddenly click. So no time is wasted here with watching such short, compact videos. I really like this approach of short videos like this. I find it a very useful way of learning a program. You can add it to your daily routine of one to two videos a day maybe, and you'll hardly notice the impact on your time, but gradually pick up new skills. I really like to do this and have picked up lots of tips so far, some that I've never seen or had no idea about, or they've shown a novel way of doing things. It's also nice because you can search for different tips and it can kind of work like an encyclopedia of sorts, which is much nicer than the Blender manual, which can be a bit tough to get to grips with at times. And it's also nice to be shown an answer in a video form rather than having to read it. I prefer it anyway. So are there any negative points? Well, not really. Some might argue the price, but I think it's fair for such a large resource. As I mentioned earlier, you won't get a massive amount of depth that you might get from another more detailed course, but that's not the idea behind this type of resource. I'm not sure what the final delivery method will be, as I was able to get an early access, but I might like it more in an ebook format where I can search easily for different videos, but that's certainly not a deal breaker, as it was easy to just search the folders. The one slight negative is that some of the instructors are using things like box cutter to do some of the explanation. It doesn't matter too much, but some beginners might get a little lost in those particular explanations, as the workflow is a touch different. I don't think it makes a lot of difference, but it may frustrate some. But all in all, it is an excellent resource. Now it is worth mentioning that there is another channel, Blender Secrets, links in the description, that does a very similar thing at a very similar price. I would actually say that both complement each other rather than overlap. Obviously I haven't been able to go through both their content in its entirety, but they seem to show very different tips with that sort of similar short video style. But Blender being such a large program, there's so many aspects to it, we don't see too much overlap. So in my opinion, they're both worth getting. Blender Secrets, I would say, is probably a little bit more beginner friendly. And if you're looking for maybe more challenging tips, then in places the Blender Bros resource may suit you more, but there's not much in it. Blender Secrets does theirs as an ebook, so you might find that a little bit easier to navigate and you can then click on the links to their YouTube channel. Also, you will want to follow both Blender Daily and Blender Secrets on Instagram as you get a lot of the shorter daily tips from there. So if you're struggling to afford the price, you can at least pick up a few useful things that way. Obviously, you don't get the full experience and access to the longer videos, but it will certainly help you improve. Along with this, it's certainly worth taking a look at some of the other courses on offer from Blender Bros. They are excellent at hard surface modeling and have a good teaching style. The only thing I would say is that they tend to use add-ons like Box Cutter, which is fairly expensive, so just be aware of that. There are some very cheap resources on there also, so if you're on a budget, then you should take a look at those. So make sure you comment below with your thoughts and any feedback you have. Also read the comments to get a range of opinions on the subject. Thanks for the support, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.